Hello everyone and a very good morning to all of you and welcome to Baidu's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams. So if I'm audible, uh, just write in the comments, yes sir, you're audible. Okay, so in this session, actually we are starting a session uh, and this is the part one of that series where we'll be discussing 1000 most expected questions for the OLIT. OLIT matlab, other law interest exam. Okay, other law interest exam. What do you mean by other law interest exam? But other than CLAT and ALET, there are other law interest exam as well. Like for example, MHCT, OGIA, SLAT is there, Jamia is there, Aligad is there, many other exams where actually the current affairs are being asked and all. So we'll be discussing about that. So if I am audible, just write yes, sir. Okay. So let's start. I'll be giving you questions and just you are supposed to answer it in the live chat. Wherever required, I will explain it. In May this year, which of the following countries hosted Machines Can See 2023 Summit? Your options are UAE, United Arab Emirates, France, USA, Canada. What is the right answer? Which country has hosted Machine Can See 2023 Summit? Bataye. Konsi country ne May ke is saal May me Machine Can See 2023 Summit host kiya? So the right answer is UAE, the country which is actually hosting the COP28 as well in Dubai. Anna? Conference of parties 28 with Dubai mein ho hai. I hope you are aware of that. Okay. So UA government has launched the machine can see summit 2023 taking place at the Museum of Future in Dubai. So you can see it here UA government host machine can see summit. The yeah, actually artificial intelligence related. Eh, so this is related with uh, empowering the next generation of AI talent. So this is basically to promote the idea of artificial intelligence and all. Yes, Alisha Khan, very good. A is the right answer to this question. Uh, the next is in May this year, US Food Drug and Assistance, uh, US FDA organization, Food, US Food and Drug Administration. Okay. Uh, this has approved a world's first RSV vaccine for older adults. So RSV vaccine, so RSV ka full form kya ko batana hai? Dunya ki pahli vaccine banai gayi hai RSV ke liye. Uh, this has been approved by US Food and Drug Administration. So what does R stands for here? So RSV mein R ka kya matlab hai? Rabies, relapsing, rubella, respiratory. What is the right answer to this question? Anyone? Anyone? So the right answer is the respiratory is the right answer to this question. Respiratory syncritial virus. Okay. So uh, Pfizer ke dwara banayge. Pfizer was also famous when COVID was happening because it made the vaccine manufactured the vaccine for COVID and all. So RSV hai. Uh, that's a respiratory syncytial uh, virus hota hai, uska, uh, uh, actually uh, jo hai, uh, vaccine banaya gaya. Okay, so D is the right answer. Let's move on to the next one. Which of the following countries will launch its own heat index in 2024 to quantify the impact of heat on its population? Your options are United Arab Emirates, Egypt, Oman, India. So, which country has made a heat index? Banaya? Because nowadays we are witnessing heat waves. Right? And heat waves are in fact killing people, destroying crops and many other things. And that is why it becomes very important that yes, the impact of heat should also be measured on the population. Ki kya, how it is impacting the population, uh, impacting people, crop, etc. And uh, even animal population as well. So yes, uh, the right answer is India has decided to come up with heat index. And, uh, why, what is heat index and why it is important uh, and all. So this was in the news event. And, uh, so yeah, ko pata hona uh, let's move on to the next one. Aapko uh, pata hoga, IMD, Indian Meteorological Department hota hai. This department is actually concerned, which actually comes under Ministry of Earth Sciences. And this department is concerned about uh, the, uh, the weather and all, weather prediction, cyclone prediction and all. Uh, let's move on to the next one, the question number four. Haan, isse pehle ka D tha. very good. Alisha Khan was right. Yes, good morning guys, good morning everyone. Uh, in May this year, a uh, first ever movie in the Tagen language was launched. Uh, this is a regional language of which state? So it was launched by Mr. Kiran Rijiju, uh, the Union Minister of Ministry of Earth Sciences. Anna. So he's a Minister of Earth Sciences. So the first ever movie in the Tagen language was launched. Uh, this is a regional language of which state? Tagen language kahan pai jati? Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Odisha, Sikkim. Where do you find it? Anyone? So yes, the right answer is A. Arunachal Pradesh, state of Arunachal Pradesh. Uh, uh, Kiran Rijiju, Mr. Kiran Rijiju launches trailer of first movie in Tagen language of Arunachal Pradesh. Okay. Uh, so just have an idea. 
and uh, the name of the film is love in 90s okay well it will be tax free and all yes so the right answer is a is the right answer yes iram sheikh very good a is the right answer uh yes uh ki yahan pe jati dekho ye this is arunachal pradesh state of arunachal pradesh yahan pe ek jagah tha ya is area mein usko kehte hain tawang tawang last year bhi news mein tha you should be knowing it so tawang uh, is a district in arunachal pradesh also called as tagin वही टैगिन और भासी मेरी ट्राइब पाए जाते हैं ठीक है देयर यू विल फाइंड दिस ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन इन माई दिस ईयर एन अमेरिकन नॉवेलिस्ट बार बारा किंग सॉल्वर वॉज अवॉर्डेड पोलिटर प्राइज इन द फिक्शन कैटेगरी फॉर हर वॉट सो उनके वर्क का नाम बताना है वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द बुक एन ऑल डेमन कॉपर हेड ट्रस्ट इंग्लिश स्टे ट्रू सो शी गॉट पोलिटर प्राइज पोलिटर प्राइज अ वेरी फेमस प्राइज है ना गिवन फ्रॉम यू एस एन ऑल तो फिक्शन में दिया आता है देन ड्रामा में देन फिल्म्स में देन आई थिंक फोटोग्राफी में है ना सो आपको बताना फिक्शन कैटेगरी में शी हैज गॉट इट एंड शी हैज गॉट इट फॉर विच ऑफ हर बुक सो व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर द राइट आंसर इज डेमन कॉपर हेड सो ए इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है डेमन कॉपर हेड बाई बार बार किंग सॉल्वर है ना तो जस्ट है एक्चुअली दो एक और है फिक्शन कैटेगरी में दो लोग को मिला है ठीक है एक ट्रस्ट है बुक का नाम बाई हरनान डियास एंड डेमन कॉपर हेड बाई बार बारा किंग सॉल्वर ओके सो जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया बिकॉज यस दे कैन आस्क दीज टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन द नेक्स्ट वन इज ना इसको याद रखिएगा थोड़ा पढ़ लेना ओके द नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स विच आर द फॉलोइंग स्टेट क्रिकेट एसोसिएशन लॉन्च ए टैलेंट स्काउट प्रोग्राम फॉर वोमेन टू अन अर्थ न्यू टैलेंट्स योर ऑप्शन आर तमिलनाडु क्रिकेट एसोसिएशन मध्य प्रदेश क्रिकेट एसोसिएशन हिमाचल प्रदेश क्रिकेट एसोसिएशन क्रिकेट एसोसिएशन ऑफ वेस्ट बंगाल वॉट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन टैलेंट स्काउट प्रोग्राम वोमेन के लिए लॉन्च किया है ताकि वोमेन क्रिकेटर्स को प्रमोट किया जा सके सो कौन सी क्रिकेट एसोसिएशन ने इसको लॉन्च किया है एंड आई एम वेटिंग फॉर द आंसर प्लीज ट्राई इट इवन इफ यू डू नॉट नो इट आप कुछ गेस्ट कर लो ठीक है बट ट्राई टू अटेम्प द क्वेश्चन ठीक है एटलीस्ट यू शुड ट्राई जैसे कि आपने लास्ट ईयर भी सुना होगा दैट बीसीसीआई केम अप विद कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पे पैरिटी फॉर मेल एंड फीमेल है ना ए मर्द और औरत की इक्वल पे पैरिटी मिलेगा है ना सो नाउ इट इज देयर इज एन अटेम्प्ट टू इवन प्रमोट वुमेन्स क्रिकेट एंड ऑल जैसे इस साल फर्स्ट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम वुमेन्स आईपीएल है ना वाज आल्सो प्लेड ये भी आया था फर्स्ट सीजन ऑफ वुमेन्स आईपीएल एंड ऑल है ना टाटा वाज द टाइटल स्पोंसर ऑफ दीस थिंग्स दिस वुमेन्स आईपीएल एंड ऑल so similarly uh, you should be knowing about it so tamil nadu cricket association tnc announces women's talent hunt program okay so the right answer is a is the right answer to this question okay uh, let's move on to the next one who will succeed am nayak to become the chairman and managing director of larsen and tubro larsen and tubro lnt we write it in short aapne naam suna hoga it's a very famous company so uh, the chairman and managing director uh, actually Uh, so it, it was uh, mr am nayak but now he will be replaced by which person mr sn subramanyam uh, matlab october mein unhone replace kar diya mr sn subramanyam r shankar raman mv satish subramanyam shama what is the right answer aap log answer karte jao try it even at least try it so the right answer is a mr sn subramanyam is the right answer to this question last year to group points sn subramanyam as md chairman hai na ओके द नेक्स्ट इज इन माय 2023 यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ पोर्ट सरबनन सोनवा लॉन्च ग्रीन पोर्ट गाइडलाइंस 2023 दीस गाइडलाइंस हैव बीन नेम्ड व्हाट सो यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ पोर्ट्स शिपिंग एंड पोर्ट्स एंड आफ है इनका नाम है मिस्टर सरबनन सोनवा एंड ही हैज लॉन्च द ग्रीन पोर्ट गाइडलाइंस इनिशिएटिव सो इस गाइडलाइंस का नाम क्या ग्रीन पोर्ट गाइडलाइंस इनिशिएटिव मींस दैट एक्चुअली द द इन पोर्ट्स एक्चुअली Uh, the green technology will be promoted so that a minimum uh, carbon emission should be there shivani arya okay uh, 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 i will tell the team concerned to have a class for that as well a special dedicated class ho jayega jisko counseling se related issues hai theek hai um, i will uh, inform the team concerned to have a class special class for that so uh, aap usme aa jana theek hai youtube pe most likely session hoga uh so and um, the questions you can ask the questions there theek hai uske liye separate session will be there okay yes 
What is the right answer? The right answer is Harit Saga. So D is the right answer to this question. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Harit Sagar guidelines and all. You should be knowing it. The next is in my this year, which of the following port has been conferred the best port award for the year 2022-2023? Uh, your options are Din Dayal Port, Jawaharlal Nehru Port, Paradeep Port, Kamrajhar Port. What is the right answer to this question? Best Port Award is Sal Gitsko Diya Gya, 2022-23 Me. Anyone? Yes, the right answer is Paradi port from Odisha. So you should be knowing it. Option C is the right answer. Okay. Yeah, Odisha me Paradi port. Okay, yes. Now the next one is uh, which edition of the India Thailand Corpat? Corpat is the India Thailand uh, exercise was held in the Andaman Sea 34th, 36th, 35th, 37th. What is the right answer? Indo Thai Corpat Joint Military Exercise was held in Andaman Sea from 3rd to 10th May. So which edition it was? Which edition was it? 34th, 35th, 36th, 37th. So the right answer is actually option C. 35th exercise. If you look here, it is mentioned. 35th Indo-Thai corporate exercise. Now India is and this is Thailand's flag. Okay? Yes. And this was conducted in Andaman Sea. Where do we find Andaman Sea? Let me show you. So here is India. This one is Thailand. Right? And this one is not Andaman Sea. This one. Okay, so you should be knowing it. C is the right answer to this question. Uh, the next one, okay, just before moving on, guys, uh, there's a small announcement. Uh, just to download our app by use exam prep app download. Karlena, you want app, uh, you will find it uh, in uh, the Play Store. Go to class section, and if someone is interested, sir, I want to join the course for uh, actually other law entrance exam, this is Jami MHCT. Kelly, so up in each jana, there's a term talk to counselor written. You see, app for jacket. Go to the app, go to CLAT section, you will app download, karo, go to CLAT section. There is a provision, talk to counselor, pe ja ke, you can call and all. Okay. And this is for 2025 course, if you are planning for next year, this is a course for you. Uh, you can call on this number for that, 95388-95678, we call this. Okay. And this is a CLAT success kit available on the same app. Okay. Is the app par? It's available. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. The next question is, in mind this year, which of the following states has become the first state in India to implement right to walk? So basically, the idea is to ensure that a pavement should be there. Anna? Pavement be hona chahiye. Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat, Punjab. What is the right answer to this question? Ki right to walk ka matlab hai ki agar road hai, road mein pavement bhi hona chahiye taki log us pe chal sake. Okay. What is the right answer to this question? Anyone? Yes, the right answer is option D. Punjab is the right answer. Guys, keep on answering it. Punjab, Punjab now first state to enforce a right to walk and all. Okay, so where actually the idea is to ensure that pavement should be there on the road as well. Uh, because yes, there are a lot of cases where because of absence of pavement, uh, the, uh, the people who are walking, actually they are hit by the cars and all and other, I mean, automobiles. So that is why, uh, of course, uh, the right to walk concept should be there. So D is the right answer to this question. Uh, the next one is question number 12. Which of the following organization has signed an MOU, Memorandum of Understanding with CAIT and Tripta Technology to launch Bharat eMart portal? Blue Dart Express, DHL, USPS, India Post. Kisne jo hai Bharat eMart portal launch karne ke liye CAIT or Tripta Technology ke saath agreement kya hai? MOU is a sort of an agreement, a memorandum of understanding. So the right answer is option D. India Post is the right answer. Yes, the first Punjab answer was Arva Puravala, you were right. Uh, India Post, na? India Post launches Bharat eMart portal to provide logistics for small traders. Okay, okay. CAIT ka full form is Confederation of All India Traders and, and Tripta Technology. Ke mein kar. They have launched the portal. Uh, the next is uh, who among the following has taken oath as the chairman of UPSC? On my uh, 16th, when I met Pradeep Kumar Joshi, Rajni Razdan, Manoj Soni, the chairman of Union Public Service Commission. So, what is the right answer? Mr. Venay Mittal, Mr. Pradeep Kumar Joshi, Mr. Uh, Mr. Rajni Razdan, uh, Mr. Manoj Soni. 
what is the right answer so the right answer is mr manoj soni so d is the right answer to this question okay so just have an idea uh the next one is pranesh vopala has become the 82nd grand master of india he is associated with what ha huh, yes pushpa pandey you were right 13 ka answer d tha so grand master jo tha no chess se related hota hai it is related with chess so pranith vopala has become the 82nd grand master of india and he belongs to which state andhra pradesh kerala tamil nadu telangana the right answer is from telangana yes alisha khan right ha huh. uh we pranit becomes india's 82nd grand master and he is actually from the state of telangana okay yes uh let's move on to the next one the next is question number 15 which says who among the following has been appointed as the chairman person of competition commission of india so competition commission of india is an organization which is actually a statutory body formed as a result of competition act na okay result bana gaya tha so chairperson of competition commission of india kisko banaya gaya hai uh, this is actually a body which is supposed to regulate the uh, the uh, anything i mean uh, like for example there should not be any fraud should not happen in the uh, in any uh, uh, corporates and all for that there is a competition commission of india theek okay. hai so uh, the right answer actually is ravneet kaur is the right answer to this question and uh, so uh, she has been appointed as the chairperson of competition commission of india so a is the right answer to this question yes pushpa pandey you are right a is the right answer hai na a competition commission of india hum thoda sa padh lijiyega because that can be important hai na jaise for example this was in the news last year and all uh, ki competition commission of india imposes a fine on google for anti competitive practices so basically this is an organization which ensures fairness in the corporate sector and all theek hai koi agar uh if, if there is any an uh, unhealthy practices going on in uh, corporate then of course it imposes fine and all uh the next is name the sherpa who has become the second person in the world to climb mount everest 26 times now mount everest is the highest peak of the world everyone knows hai na which you can find it in nepal sherpa actually ek tarah ka nepali there are people from nepal theek hai they are sherpa a special tribe and all so they have uh, he has become the second person to climb mount everest 26 times and these are your options pasan dawa sherpa kami reta sherpa apa sherpa lakpa sherpa what is the right answer to this question 26 bar climb kiya so the right answer is uh, a is the right answer pasan dawa sherpa so a is the right answer to this question hai na so first person jo hai wo hai kami reta sherpa he has climbed uh, this person has climbed 26 times and pasan dawa sherpa is the second one to climb 26 times theek hai so lagbhag 8849 meter ke aas paas hai around that okay and sherpa people are actually ethnic people from uh, tibet and nepal region and all jo yahan likha hua hai okay let's move on to the next one uh, the next one is in uh, may 2023 which are the following organization received approval from european unions regulator for the acquisition of gaming firm activision blizzard blizzard for 69 billion dollar ye alert mein question aaya tha theek hai abhi isi saal 2024 so which happened on 10 december thoda sa alag tarah se tha usme char option de diya tha usme ek option mein match kara rahe the wo microsoft se activision theek hai aur do aur option teen aur option tha like that uh, gaming se related so the answer actually to that question was ye wala microsoft or activision theek hai so the right answer is c is the right answer to this question theek hai so european union has given approval uh, to microsoft to acquire activision blizzard activision blizzard kya hai ye ek tarah ka gaming platform hai theek hai ana dekh aap dekh sakte ho video game holding company hai based in uh, california which is of course in usa european union approves microsoft 69 billion dollar deal for activision so the right answer is C is the right answer to this question. ठीक है? Okay. Uh, the next one is in May this year, India and which country launched a 50 startup exchange program to expand business relation sharing experience and knowledge? Your options are Sri Lanka, Japan, South Korea, Bangladesh. What is the right answer to this question? India or which country made a 50 startup exchange program launch? Yeah, means actually where uh, startup founders and all will go to that country exchange, है ना? एक्सपीरियंस एज दन ऑल सो यहाँ के वहां जाएंगे वहां के आएंगे नॉलेज शेयर करेंगे एक्सपीरियंस शेयर करेंगे स्टार्टअप वगैरह से रिलेटेड 
So basically the right answer is uh, Bangladesh is the right answer to this question. Uh, under the 50 startup exchange program between India and Bangladesh, the first group of 10 startups companies returned to Dhaka and all. So the right answer is D. Okay, let's move on to the next one. In May this year, which of the following union minister has launched a mobile application named Mary Life? Mr. Dharmeen Pradhan, Mr. Giriraj Singh, Mr. Ashwani Vaishnav, Mr. Bhopendra Yadav. So, when life is written like this, I have told you that this is a lifestyle for environment. This is actually nothing but lifestyle for environment. And this idea was given in which conference of parties? COP26. I have given it in class yesterday, and COP28 is related. I have told you that this is a lifestyle. Yes, of course, so ask me that this is for MHCT as well. Of course, yes. So the right answer is, uh, D is the right answer, Bhupendra Yadav is the right answer, he is a environment minister of India. Okay. I have class yesterday, I have told you that COP28 is not in the class in Okal. Yesterday I have taken a class on COP28 on the same YouTube channel. Do watch it, that will be very very beneficial. Okay. Okay, yes. So the right answer is, D is the right answer. Okay, yes. Uh, yes, uh, so it launched a uh, portal Mary Life, My Life in India and the concept of life invasion by PM Modi at COP26. When I told you that COP26, which happened in Glasgow, PM Modi gave this idea na, of Mary Life and all. So the right answer is D is the right answer to this question. Na, uh, we had discussed it in last class that COP26 was a bit of a These are the five goals. Please go and read it and then talk about lifestyle for environment as well. Okay. Uh, Let's move on to the next one. Which edition of Cannes Film Festival was started in France in May this year? So, Cannes Film Festival So, actually, Cannes is a place in France where a very famous film festival happens. So, this year uh, was 76, 75th, 78, 77. Which film festival was What is the right answer? Okay, the right answer is A, 76 is the right answer to this question. Okay. 76, Cannes Film Festival has been started. Okay, yes. Uh, Anna, so just have an idea. Uh, the next is, who headed the five-member expert committee formed by IRDAI, Insurance Regulatory Development Authority of India, on matters related to mental health and insurance? Your options are M. Vishnu Vardhan Rao, Prof. K. Ramachandran, Pratima Murthy, Dr. K. Manohar. What is the right answer to this question? Five member expert committee headed by IRDAI on matters related to mental health. So the right answer is uh, C. Pratima Murthy, she is the head of Nimhans. Nimhans is actually a hospital uh, regarding the mental health and all. So in Bangalore. So just have an idea. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next one. Who among the following was honored with the honorary Palm d'Or? This is a very famous award given in the Cannes Film Festival. So your options are Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Helen Mirren, K. Q. K. Ho Kwan. What is the right answer? 76 Cannes Film Festival. Mein. Palm d'Or for lifetime achievement. It's been given, given to whom? Yes, the right answer is uh, B is the right answer. Anna. Guys, everyone, please press the like button. We are seeing only few likes. So keep on pressing the like button, share this video and subscribe to our channel. Okay, uh, the next one is name the operation launched by India to provide humanitarian assistance for people in Myanmar affected by cyclone Mosha. Operation Dosti, Operation Sathi, Operation Narmada, Operation Karuna. What is the right answer to this question? साइक्लोन मोचा आया जिससे मायनमार में काफी इंपैक्ट पड़ा तो इंडिया ने एक ऑपरेशन लॉन्च किया मायनमार को हेल्प करने के लिए व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट ऑपरेशन कॉल्ड यस द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी ऑपरेशन कोरोना इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन डी इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है सो एरिस इन पे ऑफ बंगाल दिस इज मायनमार इट हिट बाय Launches Operation Karuna to assess cyclone hit Myanmar. So D is the right answer to this question. 
ठीक है ओके ना द नेक्स्ट वन एज इन माई दिस ईयर विच आर द फॉलोइंग हु विल बी ऑनर्ड विद ग्लोबल हेल्थ लीडर्स लाइफ टाइम अचीवमेंट अवार्ड एट दी सिक्स वर्ल्ड हेल्थ असेंबली इन जेनेवा Global Health Leaders Lifetime Achievement Award at the 76th World Health Assembly in Geneva. किसको दिया गया? This is important. इसको star mark कर लेना. Anyone? Please answer it. Yes, the right answer is option C. Jean, Jacks, Miobic, uh, Tampon, and Peter Piot. So C is the right answer to this question. ओके है ना तो जस्ट रिमेम्बर इट सो दीज टू पीपल हैव गॉट दिस द अवार्ड ठीक है है ना जस्ट रिमेम्बर इट द नेक्स्ट वन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ब्रांड हैज बिकम द न्यू किट स्पॉन्सर ऑफ इंडियन क्रिकेट टीम नाइकी एडिडास रीबॉक प्यूमा व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन न्यू किट स्पॉन्सर ऑफ इंडियन नेशनल क्रिकेट टीम नाइकी एडिडास रीबॉक प्यूमा व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर Yes, the right answer is uh, Adidas. Always remember, ah, na, because it has been in the news. Uh, new kit sponsor, Indian cricket team, ke jo new kit sponsor hai, wo Adidas hai. So, should be knowing it, ah, na. The right answer is B is the right answer. Uh, the next is who has been appointed as brand ambassador of Tripura Tourism? Ah, na, yes, Arva Pura Bala, very good. B is the right answer. Tripura Tourism ke brand ambassador kaun se cricketer ka work cricketer ko banaya gaya? Virat Kohli, MS Dhoni, Virendra Sehwag, uh, Saurav Ganguly. What is the right answer? ये लोग तो रिटायर कर गए विराट कोहली स्टिल पेइंग बट आई एम आस्किंग कि ब्रांड एम्बेसडर किसको बनाया गया द राइट आंसर इज सौरभ गांगुली द फॉर्मर एक्स कैप्टन ऑफ इंडियन टीम इंडियन क्रिकेट टीम है ना सो डी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन त्रिपुरा चीफ मिनिस्टर मिस्टर मनिक शाह इज अपॉइंटेड हिम है ना और ये फॉर्मर बीसीआई प्रेसिडेंट भी रह चुके हैं सौरभ गांगुली आपको पता होगा है ना ओके है ना टू बी अपॉइंटेड अ ब्रांड एम्बेसडर ऑफ त्रिपुरा टूरिज्म Uh, the next is in May this year, which are the following one 2023 international booker prize? कौन सी किताब ने जीता है? Very very important star market. Still born, standing heavy, time shelter, gospel according to the new world. What is the right answer to this question? 2023 international booker prize. और एक booker prize होता है जिसको this it was announced in uh, on 26 November this year. वो भी बता दो. So I'll be more happy. निखिल वर्मा यू कैन वॉच द रिकॉर्डेड वीडियो ठीक है आप रिकॉर्डेड वीडियो में देख सकते हो इट विल बी अवेलेबल ऑन आर यूट्यूब चैनल सो आप आफ्टर द अगर आप अभी बिजी हो तो हाँ यस यू कैन वॉच इट लेटर हाँ सो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इंटरनेशनल बुकर प्राइज हैज बिन गिवन टू द बुक टाइम शेल्टर बुक का नाम है टाइम शेल्टर रिटर्न बाई जॉर्ज गो इज अ बल्गारियन राइटर तो उन्होंने अपनी लैंग्वेज में लिखा है बल्गारियन लैंग्वेज इट वॉज बीन ट्रांसलेटेड इन टू इंग्लिश बाई एंजेला रोडल सो ट्रांसलेटर का नाम है एंजेला रोडल और बुक का नाम है टाइम शेल्टर ओके सो दिस इज द आउथर ऑफ द बुक एंड शी इज द ट्रांसलेटर ऑफ दैट ओके सो ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर इट द राइट आंसर इज सी इज द राइट आंसर सिमिलरली आफ्टर द क्लास इज ओवर राइट इट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन नीचे लिखो कि बुकर प्राइस किसने जीता इंटरनेशनल बुकर प्राइस मैंने बता दिया बुकर प्राइस 2023 अनाउंस ऑन 26 नवंबर दिस ईयर इस साल 26 नवंबर को अनाउंस किया गया था किसने जीता हु इज व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ द बुक एंड हु इज द आउथर ठीक है सो दिस इज द टास्क ओके यू आर सपोज्ड टू आंसर ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन यस हाँ पॉल लिंच है प्रॉफिट सॉन्ग के लिए ठीक है सो यू राइट इट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ओके द नेक्स्ट दिस नेम द राइटर ऑफ द नोवेल टाइम शेल्टर हाँ इसका नाम पता नहीं तो मैं मैंने बता ही दी ऑलरेडी जो टाइम शेल्टर नोवेल है उनके ऑथर का नाम क्या है सो ऑथर का नाम है जॉर्जो गोस्पोदी नोव सो ए इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है ओके द नेक्स्ट इज इन माई दिस ईयर हुम द फॉलोइंग हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज अ पार्ट टाइम चेयरमैन ऑफ पेटीएम पेमेंट बैंक तो पेटीएम का अपना पेमेंट बैंक भी लोगों ने लॉन्च किया है एंड हु हैज बीन मेड द पार्ट टाइम चेयरमैन ऑफ दैट कुणाल शाह कुणाल बहल निखिल कामत विजय शेखर शर्मा व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन अरबा कोनो वाला पूरा वाले यू वर वेरी नियर टू दैट बट नॉट परफेक्ट आंसर ठीक है बुगर प्राइस थोड़ा सा आपसे मिस्टेक हो गया ठीक है 
आप नीचे कमेंट सेक्शन में बताना क्लास ओवर होने के बाद ठीक है राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी विजय शेखर शर्मा इज एक्चुअली ये पेटीएम के फाउंडर्स में से है ना सो इज अ फाउंडर ऑफ पेटीएम एंड ऑल यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड अबाउट है ना है ना पेटीएम पेमेंट बैंक गेट्स आरबीआई नॉट ऑन द अपॉइंट विजय शेखर शर्मा एज पार्ट टाइम चेयरपर्सन है ना चेयरमैन द नेक्स्ट इज ड्यूरिंग पीएम मोदी थ्री नेशन टूर व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंट्री हैज साइंड एमओयू मेमोरेंडम ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग इन द फील्ड ऑफ माइग्रेशन एंड मोबिलिटी पार्टनरशिप एंड ऑन द ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन टास्क फोर्स योर ऑप्शंस आर फिजी जापान ऑस्ट्रेलिया न्यूजीलैंड What is the right answer to this question? Modi ji ka jo three nation tour hua tha, usme kono se country ne memorandum of understanding sign kiya field of migration and green hydrogen task force me. So the right answer actually is C, Australia. ठीक है. So Japan gaye the G7 summit, uske baad Papua New Guinea gaye, uske baad he visited Australia in uh, May this year. ठीक है. And he was given guard of honor na. Also, ठीक है. You देख सकते हो. This is the right answer. Uh, the next is along with Rini Fleming, who has been appointed as Goodwill Ambassador for Arts and Health by WHO, World Health Organization. Nadine Sierra, Benjamin Berhem, uh, Marco Armiliato, Preeti Yende. What is the right answer? Ah, इससे पहले का C answer था. Arva Pune वाला you were right. इसका answer बताइए. Rini Fleming और किसको जो है Goodwill Ambassador for Arts and Health बनाया गया WHO के द्वारा. Now, World Health Organization, you are knowing it. Uh, so, who is the Director General of World Health Organization, and where is the headquarter of World Health Organization? आपको बताना है. Yes, the right answer is D. Pretty Yende, है ना? Pretty Yende, Rene Fleming. इन दोनों को Goodwill Ambassador for Arts and Health choose किया गया, appoint किया गया WHO के द्वारा. So, headquarter of WHO, where do you find? The right answer is Geneva, Switzerland. ठीक है? And director general is Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus. इस तरह करके I think this is the spelling. So the right answer is D is the right answer to this question, है ना? Just have an idea, है ना? So renowned artist Rene Fleming and Pretty Yende appointed W H O, है ना? Uh, the next is question number thirty-two. Which of the following athlete has won the title in the men's long jump event at International Jumping Meeting 2023 held in Greece? Your options are Jasmine Aldrin, Morley Sri Shankar, Jalen Rucker, Avinash Sebel. What is the right answer to this question? Which athlete ne men's long jump event International Jumping Meeting me jeeta hai? Anyone? So the right answer is B is the right answer. Murli Sri Shankar is the right answer to this question. ठीक है? ठीक है. Sri Shankar wins gold, है ना? So just have an idea. B is the right answer to this question, है ना? Okay. The next one is the third Halo India University Games 2022 was held in which of the following Indian states? Gujarat, Haryana, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh. खेलो इंडिया यूथ गेम्स होता है ना मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स के अंदर लेड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स एंड यूथ अफेयर्स अच्छा हु इज द मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स बाय द वे एनीवन मिनिस्टर का नाम बताइए मिस्टर अनुराग ठाकुर इज द मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स ओके so the right answer is D is the right answer. Uttar Pradesh is the right answer to this question. Third Halo India University Games was held in Uttar Pradesh, है ना? हाँ. So it was inaugurated by PM Modi, है ना? अब आप देखो, this is actually the mascot of that, है ना? Bara Singha. ठीक है, Pur Singh या the Bara Singha कहते हैं. Okay. And the name of that mascot was G2. ठीक है, it is a state animal of Uttar Pradesh. ठीक है. अब Bara Singha को English में भी call it as Swamp Deer. Okay? So just have an idea about that. Yes, Mr. Anurag Thakur is the Sports Minister of India. Yes. So you can see it. So event location Banaras, Gorakpur, Lakhnao, Gautam, Putnagar. So these are the places in Uttar Pradesh where this was organized. Okay. The next is which of the following is the only Indian company to feature in BCG's top 50 innovative companies list? Reliance Industries, Adani Group, Mahindra and Mahindra, Tata Group. What is the right answer to this question? 
कौन सी सिर्फ एक मात्र एक इंडियन कंपनी जिसने बीसीजी के टॉप फिफ्टी इनोवेटिव कंपनी के लिस्ट में उसका नाम आया है बीसीजी और बॉस्टन कंसल्टिंग ग्रुप ये यूएस की ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है आप समझ लो तो देखा मैं फिर इनोवेटिव कंपनी लिस्ट एंड ऑल वॉट इज द राइट आंसर So the right answer to this question is uh, Tata Group. D is the right answer. Okay, this is the only Indian company to feature in top 50 innovative companies list released by Foster Consulting Consulting Group. Okay, and its rank is 20th. So top 50 means there is only one Indian company, and uh, that's rank is 20th rank. Tata is at the 20th rank. Okay. So uh, guys, uh, first of all, there is a homework. The homework is you have to tell me Booker Prize 2023 who has won it. This year, okay, in November, I announced it. I'm not asking international Booker Prize. I'm asking Booker Prize 2023. Uh, who has won it? The name of the book and the name of the author. Okay. Please write in the comment section after the class is over. So this is all about today's class. Please subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Telegram, and download the Baidu's Exam Prep app. I have made a COP28 per video. Bana hai. Please go and watch it. That would be very, very beneficial for you. So thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.